Hey there, superhero! Have you already looked around and picked the most fitting offer? If yes, watch this video, in which we'll be talking about setting up a campaign and using a tracking link. Let's go! Two options of creating a campaign for a regular offer in Ad Combo. The first one is to open an offers page and click on Create a Campaign. The second option is to go to the My Campaigns tab and click on New Campaign. For VIP offers, you need to request access before creating a campaign. Campaign Setup Now, we're about to go through the process of launching a campaign. Let's select an offer. Note two useful buttons on the page, Call Center Schedule and Show Top Creative Pairs that can give you some important details. Tracking is a vital part of running a campaign. Tracking URLs are essential for counting the number of visits, leads, and sales you generate. The tracking URL will be your unique identifier. You can create it on the page of a certain offer. The link transfers users to a page or pages that you're promoting. You can monitor your campaigns in the Statistics tab in Ad Combo, a tracker, or both. Note that if you use a tracker, you need to copy the tracking URL to the tracker and then take the modified link from the tracker to an ad network. We'll be talking about the tracking URL taken from Ad Combo without using a tracker. If you use a bare link, here is what you'll see in the Statistics tab. But to analyze a campaign effectively, it's necessary to add sub-accounts. For example, if you have two banners directing to the same landing page, you can type in different sub-acts to see which banner has a better performance. To get more analytical data, use macros. They differ in various networks yet generally mean the same. For instance, SiteScout uses the following macros. We're typing in Site ID as sub-account 1 and Ad ID as sub-account 2. After the link is added to our ad, we'll be receiving the required values through the sub-accounts. When our ad is clicked, we'll be able to see it in the Statistics tab, filtering by sub-account 1 or sub-account 2. Or you can use UTM metrics in the sources where it's available. To do it, go to this section. Here are five UTM metrics in Ad Combo Statistics. Campaign Source Campaign Medium Campaign Keywords Campaign Content Campaign Name If you need a tracking URL with the UTMs, you'd better create a campaign here. Let's go back to the Offers page. You can customize the iframe from here to make it go well with your landing page, to which you can embed it. Once everything is ready, copy the link with all modifications and implement it into the HTML code of your page. You can also add widgets for better conversion of users, but don't add many at once. Select a landing page or a pre-landing plus landing pages in the URL Builder section by clicking on them and then activate the widgets. It'll take them about 15 minutes to become available for preview. In Render Settings, you can Disable the favicon of the site Enable the back button to work as usual without keeping users on your page. And disable monetization of extra offers. These options can also be found in the Create Campaign section and activated immediately when selecting creatives. While we're here, pay attention to some more existing options. Find User Creative. If this checkbox is activated, the user is marked with a cookie on the page after clicking the link. If the user clicks the affiliate link again within three days, they'll be directed to the same page. What are rotated elements, creative bounds, and offers? Want a cool fact? You can set up A-B testing right in the campaign creation section. Within one campaign, you can test several creative bounds or offers, and after one to two days, see in the statistics what performs better. The rotated elements will be randomly shown to users, and the traffic will be equally spread. After adding the elements, wait a little to see the preview of your tracking URL. Later, you'll be able to deactivate some rotating elements. To get the tracking URL here, name your campaign and save it. The list of your campaigns is available in the My Campaigns tab, where you can edit your campaigns, copy, or delete them. If you have a feed of campaigns, use search filters to find the needed one. Now you can set up your first super campaign, find out the best converting offer or creative, and add essential parameters to your tracking URL to optimize your campaign later.
Keep in touch as we'll be talking more about postbacks, Pixel, and API in the next video.